This is part 99 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss jQuery sortable widget. jQuery sortable widget allow elements to be reordered using the mouse. Let's understand this with an example. Here, we've got weekdays from Monday till Sunday. We want to be able to reorder them using the mouse. To get this UI, we have an unordered list here and this unordered list contains list items from Monday till Sunday. Notice every list item has got data dash value attribute. For the weekdays, this attribute is set to weekday and for weekends, it is set to weekend. In a bit, we'll understand the purpose of this data dash value attribute. I have this exact same HTML already typed. So here is that HTML that we have seen on the slide. In addition to that, I also have a style here that is applied to all the list items. With this style, that unordered list will be rendered like this. At the moment, these list items are not sortable. We want to be able to sort them. So we are going to find that unordered list using the jQuery ID selector. So within our jQuery ready function, let's find the unordered list. And on that, I'm going to call sortable jQuery UI function. Let's save our changes, reload this page, and look at this. Now I'm able to reorder these elements. Now, behind the scenes, jQuery will apply a special class to all the items that are sortable. Okay, so we want to find out what that special class is. So I'm going to launch developer tools and let's click on this magnifying glass. And when we click on Friday here, for example, look at that there is a class ui-sortable-handle is applied. Now, we can use this class if we want to change the style of all those elements that are sortable. So I'm going to include that class on our page. So within our style section, ui-sortable-handle. And what I'm going to do here is change the background color to green, and I'm going to change the font color to white. Since all the elements, and I'm just going to save the changes, since all these elements are sortable, now all those elements should get that new style. Okay? And notice, when we are dragging these elements, there's a placeholder there. You know, that's the placeholder to which the item will be dropped, right? So by default, that placeholder is a white space. Now you can change how that placeholder looks like using the placeholder option. And the value for that placeholder option is going to be a CSS class. So I'm going to first specify a CSS class and let's name that class placeholder. You can give it any name you want, but I am going to name it placeholder. And I'm going to copy all these styles and remove you know, those which we don't need. So we need border, we need padding, we don't need cursor because that's going to be applied to the placeholder. So cursor style is not required. And similarly, we don't require this list style type property. So what is this list style type property doing on the list item? Now by default, an unordered list, list item will have a bullet displayed next to it, right? And if you look at the list items here, we don't have a bullet display next to it. That's basically because we have specified list style type to none. Okay, so that's going to control what style is displayed next to every list item. Okay, now for a placeholder, we don't require that style. So I'm going to get rid of that. And one style I require here is the background color. I'm going to set the background color of the placeholder to gray. Okay. So within our sortable function, I'm going to pass a JavaScript object and specify placeholder option. And the value is going to be the class that we have just defined. Let's save the changes, reload this page, and look at this. Now when we drag, look at that, the placeholder has got that class applied. And when we drop this item, that will be placed into that placeholder. At the moment, look at this, I'm able to drag this item horizontally as well as vertically. Now, if you want to restrict that dragging, for example, to uh, vertical axis alone, then you can specify that using axis option. So let's control the direction in which we can drag using this axis option. 
Now we want to be able to drag only along the Y axis. So let's specify the axis as Y. And now look at that. I am able to drag it only along Y axis. We will not be able to drag it along X axis. Now, when we are dragging an item, you know, whatever is moving along with, you know, the cursor, that is called helper. By default, look at that, the helper opacity is the same as the list item opacity. Now, let's say for some reason you want to control or you want to change the opacity of that helper. To do that, you can use opacity option. So let's go ahead and change the opacity of that helper to 0.5 maybe. So this is going to make that helper a bit transparent. So let's reload the page and look at this now. The opacity of that helper is 0.5 and that's why that's transparent. Now, at the moment, all these items are sortable. All the list items within this unordered list are sortable. Let's say for some reason we want to exclude weekends from being sortable. Now to do that, we can use items option. So let's go ahead and specify that option. Now the value of this option is going to be a selector. So whatever elements match the selector, only those items will be sortable. And if you look at the list items within this unordered list, all the weekdays have got this data dash value attribute set to weekday and weekends have it set to weekend. Now we only want weekdays to be sortable. So I am going to specify the selector here as all list items where data dash value attribute equal to weekday. So let's save our changes, reload this page. First of all, notice the style for Saturday and Sunday have changed. They are not sortable. If they are not sortable, then this style class, that is UI-sortable-handle, that will not be applied by jQuery. Hence, the background color is not green. But the other items are sortable, so that style is applied to them. Now look at this, when I try to drag Saturday or Sunday, I am not able to reorder them, whereas I should be able to reorder the other elements. So here we have the HTML, here we have the CSS styles that we have just used and the jQuery code. Now let's look at another example. Now what we want to do is sort items from one list into another and vice versa. So we have got two lists here list 1 and list 2. We want to be able to sort items from this list to this list and from this list to this list. So to get this UI, I've got two unordered lists here, list 1 and list 2. Okay, And we have got some numbers as list items. And we have some styles here. So this style will be applied to all the list items. And notice here we also have a style specified for the unordered list itself. We have set the float to left. What is this going to do? This is going to render these lists side by side. Okay, And then we have that UI-sortable-handle which is applied for the, all the elements that are sortable. Okay, So I have the same HTML and styles already typed in this webform2.aspx. So if we view this page in the browser, this is how it looks like at the moment. Okay, So we want both of these lists to be sortable in the first place. So And they have got IDs, list1 and list2. So let's make them sortable. So let's use the jQuery ID selector. I want to find an element with ID list1 and an element with ID list2 and we want to make both of them sortable. Okay, so let's save our changes, reload this page. Since those list items are sortable, this class is applied, has the background color, change it to green and font color, change it to white. Now look at this, I am able to sort the items within the list itself in both the lists. But then look at this, when I try to sort, in, uh, sort that item into another list, it doesn't allow me to do that. Okay, so to do that, to be able to sort items from one list into another, we will have to use a different option, and that is connect with. 
So I want to connect with, now again here we specify the value as a selector. So let's say I want to connect with list one. When we do that, look at that. Now I am able to sort into list one, but not into list two. Okay, so if you want to be able to sort into both the lists from list one to list two and list two to list one, you can specify IDs like that. So we want to be able to sort into both the lists. Okay, so when we do that, now look at this. I'm able to sort into this list. Similarly, I'm able to sort into this list. That's one way of doing it. Another way, and the most common way of doing it, is like this. Look at that at the unordered list level. Both of these lists have got data dash value attribute and I have set it to a value of connect. You can give it any meaningful value that you want. Now what we can do is here whatever we're specifying here is a selector and that selector should return both of the lists that we want to connect in both the directions. So here I can specify I want unordered list where data dash value attribute equals connect and that selector is going to return both of those unordered lists. Okay, so now let's see, save our changes, reload this page and the behavior still sh should still be the same. Look at that, I'm able to sort into list two and similarly into list one. And here is the jQuery code that we just discussed. Thank you for listening and have a great day.